Hello lovely and lovely and lovely and lovely and lovely people and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, hi my name is Missa, I'm 27, I'm from Edinburgh, introduction's over. As you can see with the title, we are testing the new Morphe Fluidity Foundation. I find that word really hard to say, fluidy, 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 it's quite hard to say but I have a natural lisp so that's probably why. So. I bought this foundation um, on the day it launched and it arrived the next day, way less than 24 hours later. The Morphe shipping, if you pay the five pounds, is so fast. It's like beauty weight, it's phenomenal. I bought three foundations, but I only have two here because one has yet not arrived. It's supposed to arrive today because I ordered it yesterday. Yada yada, we'll get into that. So this is what the box looks like for the foundation box it's a box um, and it has the shade name on top and kind of the color I mean kind of the color because the color I'm wearing on my face is this color and that's different but this was 16 pounds so it's not cheap Morphe isn't drugstore but it's also not high-end and um, I'll read you what it says it says full coverage foundation 24 hour long wear sweat proof transfer resistant water resistant free of oils fragrance and parabens Great for all skin types. So there's two things I probably disagree with on there. Fragrance, free of fragrance, I wouldn't agree with that. It has a slight kind of floral fragrance. Doesn't put me off in any way, but it does have a slight fragrance. And great for all skin types. I would love to see someone with super dry skin wear this because this is very matte and very full coverage. And it's matte to the point where you almost don't need to powder it. You probably you don't need to powder it really because it is that matte. And um, so that's two things I disagree with. But the bottle, I mean, we've all seen it online. Looks like this. Looks just like a L'Oreal or Maybelline foundation. You get the standard 30 mils in here. These two bottles are F 1.50 and F 1.70. I'm going to put some pictures on screen just now that I took yesterday when I got the foundation and you basically can get a free sample card and I swatched all of the shades in the first category on my face with flash and without flash so hopefully you're seeing them. From that swatches I determined that I would actually be F1.120 which is the shade that I ordered yesterday and I'm still waiting on coming. Like. My Hermes tracking says it's going to come before 3 o'clock and it's now already 8 o'clock so I don't know where it is. Anyway, so I will swatch just for you just now 1.5, um, yeah I'm just going to miss out the F, 1.5 and then 1.7 because 1.5 in my opinion is um, darker than 1.7. So this is shade 1.5, this is shade 1.7, you can see the consistency, it's liquidy but it's not super super liquidy. So if I drag 1.7 out, I think it's supposed to be a neutral tone, the word will be on screen if I'm wrong. And then this is 1.5, this is actually what I'm wearing on my face today. So yeah, I think 1.5 is slightly darker or at least it has a very very different undertone. I think this is maybe, I don't know, I'll put the words on the screen what the undertone is supposed to be. But that's those two swatched anyway. But yeah, like I said, I ordered actually quite a, a deeper, deeper shade. So I'm quite nervous for that arriving because I have found that this does oxidise slightly. Also, I will have a timestamp for when I start applying the foundation because this intro is going to be fairly long just so I can go through all the information because I always forget to actually include valuable information in foundation testing. And for reference, I have very normal skin. Never get dry, never get oily until like 12 hours after wearing foundation and it's just on my nose really. Like I've got, like my skin's very good to me in terms of it just accepts most foundations and wears them well. I'm very lucky. With the foundation, I also picked up two concealers. I picked up 1.35 and 1.55. I thought I could use 1.55 on blemishes and 1.35 under my eyes. I have used that today. And the concealer, again, it's just like a standard concealer tube. I will swatch 1.35. I actually think I could have gone for a slightly paler concealer, but it's worked fine. 
And then yeah, 1.55 is more for facial blemishes. So yeah, that's 1.35, 1.55. Um, I didn't find that they oxidised, but I, I slightly oxidised on my under eyes, but not that much. But yeah, all concealers I own tend to be very light, so I wanted a deeper one for any blemishes. Um, I could probably even slightly contour with that on my playlist of days. So that's 135 and 155. And then in my order, just because they had it in stock, I picked up another continuous setting mist. This is the nicest spray of any setting spray I've ever come across. It's not really a setting spray, although that's what it claims to be. It's more a hydration boost. It just has the most like graceful, lovely mist on it. So I just bought that anyway. Did I say the concealers were nine pounds? These are nine pounds, if I forgot, and this is 15 pounds, which is pretty expensive, but I like it so much, I don't mind buying it at that price. So that was my little Morphe order. This is the outcome of me trying the foundation and the concealer and I've also put the setting spray on as well. This is not a wear test, it is purely a first impressions. I just don't have time to do a wear test today. I was waiting for Hermes to deliver the other shade. So whilst I could have started this at like eight o'clock this morning, I just wanted that other shade of foundation to see which of the three would match me best. But here we are seven minute intro i'm boring myself to death so if you want to see me apply the foundation we're going to do close-ups if you want to see that process then please just do keep on watching and also please subscribe if you haven't already i'd love to hit 25k and we're so close okay bye so as you know i ordered a few different shades of this three in total and I'm actually still waiting for one to arrive. It's supposed to have arrived already. Hermes said by three o'clock. It's now almost four o'clock and I've already had a Hermes delivery today, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. So we're gonna go in with shade um, F1.5. Now I will be truthful with you. I've taken this brush and I've already put this foundation a little bit down my neck and my chest, just so that when I put it on my face, it matches. It's ever so slightly too dark, but I think that's because it oxidizes like on my neck is that's from what I'm seeing But I've not tried it on my face and that of course is the most important part um, And I do have some breakouts just now. Let me show you. I've had a bit of a reaction to a new foundation recently and um, so I don't know which one because I've tried so many but anyway I've had a bit of a reaction, so I'm hoping this is super full coverage. I do have my brush. I thought we'd do brush one side and I would do sponge on the other. This is a Morphe sponge. Um, and just see how it works. I am fully moisturized and ready to go. So hopefully once this foundation goes on, you're gonna be like, why Melissa, you look like you've matched yourself perfectly, but bit, I'm cheating a bit. I've put it on my chest, so, and my neck. Maybe even 1.7 would be better because it is slightly lighter, but, we're just gonna go in with 1.5. We're testing the formula, not the color, so. So I'm gonna start off with the sponge on this side of my face. It is dry and it's not dry, it's damp and I did clean it, but it's so stained from use, so. Let's see what happens when we put it on and the face. I'm very excited. I can't, I can't even tell you. So squeeze out about that much and let's see what happens. I'm gonna have to take off this roll because I can hear it um, like rubbing. So you can see on my neck looks darker than the foundation that's going on my face. So it definitely does oxidize slightly because this right now looks too pale for my body. But my body is has the foundation on my neck and the top part of my shoulders. So it's definitely very matte, but it's super easy to blend in. Like I'm not having any issues blending it with this sponge. It's going on really nicely. Um, I mean, it's covered up those blemishes already. 
I'm gonna do half my face and then be like, ooh, look at this ugly side and then this not so ugly side, you know? I'm gonna go in with a wee squeeze more. Put this on my neck. A little bit seems to go like a pretty long way. I'm not finding that I'm like having to use a lot. And I'm getting like really full coverage from it. I can already tell I like this foundation. It is so full coverage. Like it's all, it's like 99% hidden my blemishes. I know I'm not gonna need two layers with this on either. Let me show you it up closer. So foundation on. Very matte, but very full coverage compared to that side. It looks so good. <laughs> I mean, it looks very matte, very matte, but it looks so good. So just to test it out, I'm gonna use this side on a brush, this side of my face with a brush. Well, let me see, if I put them side by side, you can see that is lighter than that. So there is definitely a bit of oxidization with this foundation. I actually think this shade would be a little bit too dark for me if I hadn't taken it down my chest so that it didn't look so obvious. Because this side of my face right now is looking lighter than this side. Wow, well, it applies really nicely with a brush as well. I do prefer like a fluffy brush. This is really nice for foundation. The blank canvas E41. It's not for foundation, but it works really well. Yeah, that's literally gone on seamlessly with a brush. I'm just gonna go over with my sponge, just like I always do. To make sure I'm fully blended. Yeah, I think that looks really good. But see if I lift up my arm, I think you can probably see where I stopped the foundation and where my arm starts. So this shade is definitely too dark per moi. So that's funny because when I swatched it, and you will have seen it in the intro, this looked way too pale. Let my show you it. So here I am closer. I will zoom in more so you can see. Fully foundationed. And looking flawless, in my humble opinion. So far, I am super happy with how this is looking. I think it looks absolutely great. So let's try the concealer now. Like I said, I got two shades of concealer. I think I'm gonna use one point. Let me swatch them side by side because they are slightly different. That's 135, 155. So I'm gonna use 135, even though it's a bit yellow for me, but it'll still be fine. So let's do one side at a time and see what difference it makes. So I just used one dip in and then blend it out and I'm going to go back in my sponge and blend this out. It's actually a really good under eye shade for me, it's very brightening. It's blending super easy over the foundation. I was a bit worried because the foundation is so matte. Like it almost doesn't need set, but I thought this might just like pick up the foundation. But it has blended really beautifully on top. I'd say medium coverage because I can still see quite a lot of like blueness under here. I don't know if you'll be able to, um, but it does look nice. It's not cakey. It's not made the foundation go weird. Focus. And it has nicely brightened up my under eye and blended really well, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
definitely it's not like jumping out at me as an amazing concealer it's just nice but it's certainly not like amazing you know So I'm foundationed and concealered up. I am super happy with how my base is looking. It feels really matte, like not in a bad way. Like I'll still brush a little bit of Laura Mercier loose translucent over my skin just to really set it in place because I don't not powder my foundation, do you know what I mean? Like I always powder my foundation and that concealer is creasing on me, but that is entirely normal. I am very creasy under eyes. No concealer in the planet will not crease under my eyes. So I don't even count that as anything that's an issue because once I set it, that always goes away. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is go through on the rest of my makeup. Well, let me show you one more close up. I mean, I just think my skin looks flawless. So yeah, I'm gonna go through on the rest of my makeup, come back and show you what I look like then. And yeah, I'm not doing a weird test like I said, but I will be doing my outro in a few hours time. So I can show you in at least like three hours. So yeah, really pleased with how everything is looking just now. And I'll see you very shortly. I just went in with my favorite powder. I just wanted to show you, I had to use the bare, bare, bare minimum of powder and I just used a big fluffy brush and just like patted it on. And my face doesn't look cakey. It's not disrupted the foundation in any way. Um, it just looks the same. Um, Laura Mercier Loose Translucent though is like the best powder in the world. And I will say what I do feel about this foundation is that it does kind of blur pores. I didn't use any primer or anything and I do feel like my pores look better. They just do. Like I'm being blown away by this foundation. I'll be honest. I think that's quite obvious. I just wanted to show you yeah, my face powdered and now I'm getting all weekend. Bye. So I've now finished off the rest of my makeup. As you can see, I'll list everything down below or maybe I'll just like insert like I sometimes do the sped up version that I put on Instagram. But with the rest of me makeup on, which is a lot of Morphe by the way, I mean I love how my skin looks. It's so flawless. This foundation definitely oxidizes, so I think tomorrow or the next day I'm filming, I might try it again, but I'll try shade 1.7 or what's it, 0 0.7, whatever it is, and see if that suits me better. Because when I lift up, you can see how pale I am compared to that foundation. But I'm just, you know, whatever, who cares, foundation. But this is definitely my kind of foundation. Like, it's full coverage, it's matte, it's everything that I like. You know that if you watch my channel, I love full coverage matte foundations. I did also use the Morphe setting spray, as you would have seen. Um, mostly just because I love that spray, not to try and make this last longer or anything, but I just love the feeling of that hydration. Especially when I'm wearing a matte foundation, I still love using like hydration sprays. So I'm not gonna like do another check-in or anything. This is just a first impression, me trying it for the first time and showing you what it looks like on the skin. I'll come up closer and show you with the rest of my makeup on. Did I go ham on my under eyes? I did. Oops. I just find everything went over it really well. No patchiness. Just, just lovely application, just what I wanted. So to round off my thoughts on my first impression of the Morphe Fluidity Foundation, I would recommend it, especially if you like matte foundations and if you like full coverage foundations. I think if you have super duper duper dry skin, would probably avoid. I think if you've got a lot of lines and wrinkles, I would probably avoid. Although to be honest, even though it's been on like two or three hours now, it hasn't settled in my smile lines yet um, or really in my forehead lines. So maybe it wouldn't be that bad, but I just feel like with such a matte full coverage foundation, it's not going to be that um, complimentary on very kind of wrinkled skin. But I mean, for me right now, I love it. I really love it. Would recommend. It is £16 like we discussed, so it isn't cheap. 
by any means but I really like it and um, would avoid wouldn't avoid the concealer I just wouldn't recommend the concealer I think there's a lot better concealers out there especially around the nine point nine point the nine pound price point and um, things like Maybelline Fit Me which just as coverage as this or the Revolution Conceal and Define whatever many other concealers I would recommend over that one I just got it to test with the foundation but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think of it down below I know I didn't give it a full wear test but I can do that if you want me to on another day and yeah I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel bye